Welcome back to Parsnips and Parsimony. Today's video is going to be just sort of a cook along with me. You guys have been asking for my caramel popcorn recipe. I will put the link for the actual recipe down in the description below. Today is Christmas Eve. I make this recipe every single year for gifts and I thought, you know, I'm going to try to film this as I go. So it's not going to be a formal video. It's just going to be come along with me. I'm going to show you what I'm doing, explaining it. We're going to cook it and get this done before I have a Christmas Eve party to go to. The recipe calls for 30 cups of fresh popcorn. I have an air popper here that has seen so many better days, but it works like a charm. If you've never had a hot air popper, these things are so easy to run and they work really, really well. So I'm gonna start just by putting some popcorn in here and I'm gonna probably have to do three or four batches to get the amount I need and put the lid on. And yes, this has seen better days, but it works oh so well. Plug it in. All right, we'll just let this pop away. Here it comes. This is the pan that I use to cook all of the popcorn. This is just a really large turkey roasting pan. It's nonstick. It works perfect for this job. Get another batch now. That much. And plug it back in. Here we go. A couple years at a garage sale, I found this giant measuring cup. This one holds eight cups. Makes this job a whole lot easier. I always fill it up more. I'll fill this up level with popcorn. It won't be um, right to the eight cup measure right up because I like to really have a lot of caramel popcorn to give away. Okay, we have 30 cups of popcorn in the works. I have two sticks of butter. We need to get the, cor the brown sugar, corn syrup, and those are in a little bit. So, Lydia, let's get brown sugar and corn syrup. You've got the butter. Uh, we have to get a pot. A pot. A pot. I don't want to make a mess. I just cleaned my stove, so I just put brought this out. Um, Lydia, go ahead and turn that on to medium. Just rotate that dot medium and keep going keep going there you go perfect go ahead and unwrap those two sticks of butter and put that in there and then i need to get a half a cup of uh, light corn syrup a uh, little trick here when you're taking your measuring cup um, oops use a little bit of cooking spray in there and that's going to help that corn syrup just actually slide right out Is that <sighs> another trick if your Cairo syrup or light corn syrup lid is stuck because it hasn't been used in a while like this, run it under hot water. It will melt it, and then you'll be able to open that right up. Did you know that, Lydia? Da -da -da -da. Works every time. Okay, half cup, get up. Okay, Lydia, go ahead and put that in Yum, there and watch this, guys. It'll slide right out. No sticky mess, yay! We'll just finish scraping it out a little bit, but no sticky mess, love it. All over the butter. Yes. Ooh, the butter's are melting. That's what it's supposed to be doing. Teaspoon of salt. It's need a t two cups of brown sugar. Go ahead and stir that. Yeah, it is kind of stinky. And then we need two cups of brown sugar. I can feel it wobbling really Ready? good. One and two. It's easily melted. Okay, that's what it looks like. We're going to let this continue to cook and melt down. Has this avoids the whole candy thermometer. If you're thinking you need a candy thermometer, you don't need a candy thermometer. However, you do need to make sure you pay attention to the timing because the timing is really key here. Um, making sure it stays on medium heat is the first thing. And then once it starts to boil, not just like boil and then bubble and bubble, like boil, a rapid boil. Um, just make sure that boils and once it starts to rapidly boil set the timer for five minutes don't stop stirring it or you're gonna have burned caramel and then once that's done you take it off from the heat 
we're going to add our baking soda and our vanilla and you're going to watch this get um, it like doubles in size it gets really frothy and then once that's all stirred in we're going to pour it on top of the caramel and bake it now I'm going to preheat my oven to 200 degrees and this is going to have to cook for an hour like this we're going to stir it every 15 minutes all right you can see it's just getting ready to boil but it's not quite there yet so I'm still stirring but I don't want to start my timer quite yet. There's still bubbles it's up the side. It's got to be really boiling. There's still bubbles up the side. Yep. So I've got five minutes there. I'm going to go ahead and get that started. And we're just going to stir the entire time while this cooks. Yep, it's big See, bubbles. See, it's starting to boil now? Big bubbles. Yep. And we don't want to turn up the heat anymore because if we turn it up then it's going to burn. We don't want burned caramel. And it's perfect like this. Mm. Oops, wow. see how it's boiling now? It's smelling like caramel. While Lydia is stirring this up for me, I'm going to get my so baking soda all set. I need a half a teaspoon of the baking soda. So as soon as this is done with those five minutes, I'm going to immediately remove it from the heat Add the baking soda, add the vanilla, stir it in, and then you're going to see me put it right on the popcorn and mix that in. If that's not all coated the first time or some pieces aren't evenly coated, that's fine. We're going to stir that in the oven every 15 minutes, which is going to help distribute that caramel. So no biggie on that. Don't panic. You guys totally can do this. This is not hard. You just need to pay attention. Watch what you're doing, and you can do this. There it is. Okay, let's turn Look this off. Look at that really bubbly. Okay, go ahead and you can move that. Okay, Lydia, I'm going to take this. All right, put it on there. Can I add the baking soda? Move that from the heat. We're going to add the baking soda. And this is going to... Um, can I help? Watch what happens. It's going to get really frothy. Frothy? Yeah, watch. And it smells way better. Come on. See how it's changing textures? And it's doubling in size. It's really cool when that happens. Isn't that cool? It's probably some chemical reaction. I don't know what it is. Look at it go. Look at it build. A little bit of vanilla. I don't know if they can see it in the video. It's getting taller, but it is getting it, taller. Yeah, it almost doubled. And so always make sure you see how look how look how much it's growing. So it's almost it's definitely gotten double. If you're making this in a pan, make sure your pan is big enough to accommodate uh, it doubling in size like that. Okay, so it's really loose and frothy. We're going to take this and put Yum. this. Remember that burner's hot, okay, honey? Yep. I'm going to put it all over the popcorn, and then we're going to mix this in. It's so good afterwards. <laughs> You're not hungry, are you, Lydia? I'm going to do half. Give this a quick it's stir. It's okay. Water. Anything that drips on the counter is the, for the for the cooks and the tasters. I got the ones we can flip the pan. I mean, that's what cooking is all about. Okay, so that's about half. I'm gonna put this on the rest of it. Oh, this is like this is Christmas to me, Art. Popcorn is Christmas. Christmas per se, but well, I always Eve. make this for Christmas. Well, it's all, it's Christmas Eve. It is Christmas Eve, and that's, it's, this is just, I always make this right around the holidays. That's the only time I make it. Way too much sugar for everyone else any other time of the year. See, it's already hardening up, so we'll just give this as much of a mix as we can. And then when we stir this in 15 minutes in the hot oven, we'll continue spreading this all around. It looks really good. Are you going to make a second one or just this one? No, this is it. I don't have time to make a second one. This has to cook for an hour and we've got to get out of here by what, five? <laughs> and it's almost three. Wow. I have to hurry up on my, I have to hurry up on my owl house too. And I still have to make a present. Oh, you better hurry too. Well, there won't be too much. Only a few more rows. Okay, that's good. Call that good. Now we're going to put that in the oven. Is it hot? No. Not really. Okay, we're going to put that in there. Set the timer for 15 minutes. First 15 minutes is up. Oh, it's smelling like popcorn. Yum, 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 yum. There you 
we'll go ahead and give this another stir. What? Lydia, can you take the camera for mommy and hold mm. that? Sure. Remember, it's not straight up and down. I just want to grab a piece right now. Oh, don't, because it's not even crunchy now. It's just like this sour, soft caramel that'll just stick to your teeth. Oh, yeah, that's the best. If you want, you gotta wait for the full hour and then it turns into that crunchy yumminess. Yum. All right. So So Mary, if you're careful, can you okay. hold the can more for me? Yeah. Yummy popcorn. Pull it out. Uh, one last stir. And then you go. we'll let it cool. It sounds like it's crunchy. Hear that, Mary? Yummy. Are we giving these for gifts? We are giving this away for gifts. Uh, how many? What happens if we have extra? Can we keep it? Can we keep it? Should we keep it? Yes. The trick to see if seeing if this is done is taking a piece, letting it cool. And when it cools, the caramel on the outside should be, for lack of a better word, crunchy. So it shouldn't be gooey like toffee, but just really like hard candy. I think they call that the hard crack stage. And that's what we're doing in the oven by baking it. So once this cools down, I will check it out. Let's see, you can see right now it's still soft, but that's because it's warm. And we'll give it a taste test, make sure it's done. It's been in there a full hour. I don't like popcorn that is, is gooey and it sticks to my teeth. I love it when it just kind of the, the caramel just shatters in your mouth and oh, flavor bursts all the way through.